as I wander around here, I'm seeing quite a lot of people I know. One of them is, you haven't seen him on camera yet, I will film him sometime, here's Roger. Roger, you're our cat haulier, aren't you? Oh, yeah, I am, yes. Famous yes, cat haulier. Yeah, you will be yeah. famous when I get oh, film yeah. you picking them up one day. But your son's here and he's legged. Like he Reese, come in. Marley's chat buttering you up for an apprenticeship job, is he? <laughs> so, Reese, you're, in, you're interested in a sort of maybe a bit of agricultural sort of education or, or a yeah. job, or what are you looking at today? Agricultural engineering. Are you? Yeah. So TH White's is probably one of the ones to look at, is it? Yeah, yeah, they're quite good for it. Now. Have you um, looked at any other companies? Yeah, Talos and Amos and Class. And uh, so, what's the difference between the co different companies? Is there much of a difference on what they're offering? Mm, not really. They're all sort of the same. Sort of, they offer the same opportunities. Yeah. So are you at school at the moment? Yeah. Have you got to get a certain level of qualification to...? Yeah, you've got to get a grade four and above in about three different subjects. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you'll fly that, I'm sure. Yeah. Well, mate, I hope you have all the best of luck with those. Uh, yeah. what, do you, what do you actually think of this event? Yeah, it's quite busy, quite good turnout. Because it's quite unusual, isn't it? The first one I've been to with, one of the, with just for agriculture. Yeah. It's quite a good opportunity for you to see a lot of companies in one place rather than try and travel around, isn't it? Well, thanks a lot, mate. Sorry. Brilliant. Cheers, Dad. Thank you. No Got three cows for on Saturday. Don't forget. We'll be there as you. How about this? We've got the police here, and they're not here to get me. They're here because it's about rural crime, right, ladies? I've dumped you on the spot here, so I'm coming in now. I'm noticing on your stand here, you've got a lot of different issues with rural crime, haven't you? We've got poaching, dogs on the lead, that's a very important one at the moment, hair coursing, I don't know about that one. Oh, fish theft and evil fishing. Uh, yeah, so that's illegal fishing. So, with rural crime, firstly, I, I'm just wondering, what is probably the biggest problem with rural crime at the moment? I think it varies between I think it varies between places so yeah. um, and, and se seasonal as well so we're sort of coming into the fish poaching season now right. um, but it, it's everything we get everything in Gloucestershire we get yeah. everything everything from fish poaching to uh, dog dog attacks hair causing poaching and now a lot of um, sheep, sheep attacks well this time of year with the lambs and everything yeah, I imagine and, and is that because people don't realise what damage their dog can do? I, th I think so, but a lot of lot of the dogs are just out and yeah. just run off from the owner, and the owner isn't taking any notice. Right. And oh, where's my dog? And then it comes back, and we get with a and, horrible thing yeah, like that. That's not a very nice poster, is but it? It, it but it brings a message home, it doesn't does, it? Yeah. Um, hair coursing, as we said. Yeah. It's not been too bad this year because, I've because experienced. of the wet, yeah. wet weather. So, I mean, how do you police something like hair coursing? Because it's kind of almost impossible, isn't it? I mean, they're everywhere, aren't they? We rely on the farmers or the landowners to contact us at the time, yeah. at the time of the offence. Um, and then we can send units and send resources to the location. And it's just all getting vehicle details and everything. Yeah. Intelligence um, led, isn't it? Yeah, mm. yeah, it's very intelligence led. And uh, fly tipping, obviously that's a big problem. The council, yeah, council. That's the council. Yes. Oh, so the police don't deal with fly tipping? No, we don't. Oh, okay, um, I didn't realise that. That's, well, straight district council, that's all they Yeah, yeah. district council. Okay. Yeah. So you, I mean, and that's in, uh, are you, so is there a rural crime team? I, I believe there is, isn't there? Is that separate in, from... In Gloucestershire? Yeah, in yeah. Gloucestershire there's a rural crime team yeah. um, that do work separately. They, they work with... Um, the, the police and everything, but they, their sole focus is on. Yeah. So we've got four officers, um, one for each area. We've got the Stroud, Cotswolds, yeah. um, Tewkesbury, and the Forest area. Yeah. Right. And the, I think uh, we're I think both PCSOs and we work alongside right. the officers. Yeah. So. Well, ladies, thank you for your time. Yes, thank you. You're doing a good job. We need more people out there helping. Look after rural crime. Thank you. Thank you. Looking around now, I'm back. I'm turning around. I'm just jumping on people here quickly. 
Hello. Cossel Dairy. Hello. Hello. Nice Hello. to meet you. Hello, Cossel Dairy. I've, I've heard a lot about you, but I've never actually spoken to someone from Cossel Dairy. We are a family-run uh, business, yeah. dairy, um, in Tewkesbury. We're uh, just over 85 years old, um, and um, you can get lots of jobs um, in our dairy. Really? Yeah, you can. Um, so we have 64 farmers that supply us right. with milk. Yeah. We process 100 million litres a year. Wow. Um, so you could become a rangs person, a yeah. HGV driver, um, you can work in finance, you can uh, be a salesperson, um, engineering, we offer apprenticeships. It's quite a so, diverse selection of jobs then really absolutely. isn't it? Because you see the word dairy and you think Oh, probably just someone just stacking bottles or something. Is but you're offering lots of different options. Yep, yep, and um, and, and we really look for our stars in the business as yeah. well. We really want to look after them. We want them to progress. Um, so we've got lots of staff members that have started in the lower pay jobs, and now they're at the high end management right, yeah. jobs, and they're doing really, really well. So you know, we really try and look after our staff as well. So if someone wanted to sort of uh, approach you for a job, how would they go about that? Um, they probably found the careers line. Mm. Um, oh, you've got and a careers line? Have yeah, you? we've got a careers wow, line. Wow, you are pretty hard oh, on organised. <laughs> How would they find the careers line? You've got a website, I guess. We do have a website, yep, so you can go to Cotswold Dairy yeah. and um, and look at our, our, you know, we've got actual uh, careers site on there, mm. um, but it gives you an overview of us and, uh, and what you can expect. Brilliant. So, so you're based primarily in Shakespeare area? Shakespeare. But obviously people can come, that you cover a large area with your milk supply and everything. Like yes, yes. So, uh, so we got a got a big chunk now. Um, we go up to Ludlow, um, uh, down, down as far as uh, South Gloucester. Um, we do a Welsh milk as well, Monkshire right. milk, um, yeah. and we've got seven depots. Wow. So North oh, right, Wales, okay. Hereford, Cheltenham. Yeah. From Cheltenham, we do an awful lot of doorstep uh, right. deliveries, yeah. which works. Up, it's about ten percent of our business. Wow, brilliant! Yeah, it's doorstep. You've been brilliant. Thank you very much. Thank for you your very time much. Nice to meet you. Brilliant. Bye. I'm, I'm gradually getting around here. I'm not going to be able to cover everyone tonight, but I've just noticed this little doggy in the picture. And I thought I'd do something about vets and stuff. So you, you're you doing something very different. Yeah, this is um, veterinary physiotherapy. Yeah. These qualifications are brand new. They launched last week. So this is a degree equivalent qualification in veterinary physio that you yeah. don't have to go to uni to do. That sounds good. Yeah. Because not everyone wants to go to not uni, do they? To, not everyone wants to, not everyone can. Yeah, that's very true. So this is a vocational pathway mm. for people to be able to achieve basically the best job in the world. I go around and I play with animals and people mm. pay me. Wow, lovely. Nicest job in the world. Yeah. It's, it's a really good career. It's mm. flexible. It's a nice professional career with animals. It's not elitist, you don't have to be a straight A student and you don't have to get into uni. So this is a, a route for people to do their so, dream job. So what would they be doing with the job? So I do, I do two things really. Mm. I fix broken animals, right. so injuries, and this mm. could be small animal or large. So it could be competing horses that have been injured, it yeah. could be a dog that's put its foot down a rabbit hole, it could be an older dog with arthritis, or I deal with the performance side, getting horses ready for competition, agility dogs, right. how do they, yeah. like any athlete, mm. how do you make them perform at the absolute best? So I'm working with competition, or injury so yeah quite involved so if someone wanted to was interested in how would they find out about this so we launched last week yeah. it's all very very new but the website will be launched later this week I hope by the time this video goes out it'll be yeah. up and running so the website is Academy Vet Fizz brilliant and do you so cover take a picture of it oh right me. okay well done all on there so, do you cover the whole of the UK or, or yeah. just certain areas? No. Okay, so, so the whole the of the UK. course is totally flexible. Brilliant. So, all the theory is yeah. done online. Yeah. And there's online lectures, there's Zoom based stuff, there's study groups, but it's all remote. You don't need to travel That's to sit great. in a lecture. That's great. Practical training is done with people like me all over the country. Yeah. And it's flexible. If you can't come to my training day on Friday, mm. someone else will be doing a training day next Saturday. Right. So, you can always make it work. Brilliant. 
it's in three stages. When you finish the first stage, you actually get a qualification in sports massage. So you can go out and start working. Right, brilliant. And you can start building your business, okay. building your client base, whilst you carry on through stage two and three. Brilliant. So it's designed brilliant. for real people. Brilliant. Well, that's fantastic. Thank you very much. We love Lovely real to people. Talk to you. Brilliant, thanks. Take okay, so we're going to go around now. Harry, Harry said to me, we've got to go and see the John Deere shop. So I've, I've nailed him. The other one, look, you're all getting out of this. He legged it. He disappeared, but I've managed to find this chap, Guy. Right, Guy, you're right under the spotlights there as well. Is that so, right. so, Guy, what opportunities are there available for, for say, students or young people for through TAG or, or John Deere? So, we offer three different apprenticeships uh, agricultural service, turf technology, and parts apprenticeship. Obviously, John Deere, everyone recognises the brand and they immediately think mainline agricultural equipment, but it's really important we talk about turf technology as well as parts technology as well. Turf technology is probably lesser known and we maybe struggle to recruit people into that area of the business, but it's just as technical, it's just not on the same scale, but the precision offering from it is even tighter tolerances than uh, than uh, mainline ag and then parts obviously without uh, parts and logistics section for our business we can't even function so we offer three different apprenticeships they're all three years and at the end of it we come out with a level three land-based engineering qualification or turf technology qualification um, it's block release so you'll be spending time in John Deere HQ in Nottinghamshire and then coming back into depot and putting those skills back into practice. Wow, so that's quite a quite a, quite a thing, a three year apprenticeship. Three year apprenticeship. Are, are you paid while you're doing an apprenticeship? You are paid while you're doing it. I think we invest something like 75, 80,000 pounds per apprentice uh, over the course of the three years yeah. while we pay them, train them, um, you know, equip them, clothe them, that sort of thing. So how old do you have to be to apply to an apprenticeship and how do you apply for apprenticeship? So we can accept applications for apprentices to start at the age of 16 and the best way to apply is via our website which can be found there and uh, that is a link to our careers page where you can find a link to our apprenticeship you can also find a link to our work experience program um, which we aim really at year 10 students to basically give them a taste of how it is to apply for a job in the real world so when they come to finish their studies we might have given them some valuable skills in a week so we ask them to do a CV a cover letter um, do a screening call book an interview Interview, attend an interview, how to behave, um, how to follow it up, feedback, before we even get to doing the work experience placement. And then they do their week of work experience where they will do, say, two days ag service, two days turf service, a day in parts. So they get experience of lots of different areas of the business. Wow, so it's quite, you've got a lot to offer them, really, haven't you? Yeah, I think so. It's important that we are putting time and um, resource into students now because realistically in two, five, ten years time these are going to be our workforce. So how many apprentices do you take on a year? Do you know that figure? This year I believe we're taking six. Six, okay, yeah. wow. So it's quite, is it quite competitive to get on the course? It will be very competitive this year. Last mm. year I think we took 12. Right. Um, this year we can only take six because we've had six people finish their apprenticeship and graduate so, oh, so you freeze up them. yeah mm. basically we're limited because they have to have a mentor for three years and so they um, we can only offer what we can offer each year wow brilliant well you're offering a lot anyway thank you very thank much you. Cheers. 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 Hey, we're going cheesy now I'm gonna spin this around it's the famous cheese lady of Gloucestershire introduce yourself cheese lady hello what an amazing day this is I can't believe how busy it is it is really busy isn't it started at half past six and it's now quarter to nine and there's been this level of people the whole time it's brilliant well done Sodbury young farmer exactly exactly so you're here 
Well, everyone knows you for your cheese, aren't you? But you're a dairy farmer, aren't you, as well? I am a dairy farmer, but I, I've come along really to support Sodbyville. Yeah. I think it's such a, a brilliant idea. And to also show people that if you diversify, sometimes it works. So you diversified in, in dairy. I'm not going to go into too much detail, because I am going to come and see you in the summer and talk to you properly about your cheese. But very briefly, you diversified, didn't you? We did, actually, tw 22 years ago. Yeah. I mean, some of these people here aren't even... I even they bought. weren't even born. I know, I know. <laughs> Which is a... So I won't ask you too many questions, but I'm yeah. going to look at your cheese here. We're going to, we're going to uh, taste a bit. Harry's going to taste a bit of the cheese. So what have we got here then? We've got single Gloucester. Single Harry, Gloucester. Like try try that one. And then this one, we've got a single Gloucester that's 12 months old, so it's really mature. Oh, mature one, so is it? Singing Granny. I'll try a little Singing Granny, this singing one's called. Granny, mm. yeah. Oh, that's tasty. Yeah. <laughs> mm. I like that. Good. Mm. So, you, these are your cheesy. Quite a collection, isn't it? Holy smoke. Single Gloucester. Three virgins. Holy Gloucester. Quite a big set. And there's another one. Cocker Dilly Tilly. I love the names. Did you come up with all the names? Um, well, we, it tends to be ladies in the cheese packing room. Right. We spend a lot of time stood around a table. So if we, if we had a new cheese, we just have a quick discussion. And the best names are the ones that come straight away. Right. And if you've got to think about it, yeah, it's never I possible. know what you mean. Yeah. So they were yeah. all quite. We sort of discuss it, and then the name just uh, the best names just come. Brilliant. <laughs> Well, the, the cheese is lovely. I'm going to come Thank up and see you in the summer. Thank you. Well done to for it. coming to support this event. It's appreciated, I'm sure. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you sort yourselves out, eh? <laughs> Take two, right? So I'm talking to a vet here. The camera wasn't on. Right. Let's turn it around. I've done this before. Right. So spontaneously, we're going to cut this in. <laughs> so. <laughs> Harry, Harry always laugh at me. Right, I'm here with Tyndale Veterinary <laughs> <laughs> Practice. We've got, I know the bits because I've already asked them. You're a vet, you're a vet, and you're... Marketing. Marketing. marketing yeah. So, and you were just talking very well, but I didn't record it. So I'm going to ask yes. you again, what sort of opportunities are there for someone in the vet practice industry or whatever? What yeah. can you be with or animals, do? I what can you do? Yeah, sorry. Whole lot. So you got like food inspection, you got a clinical works. So for that yeah. you need to be a vet. You can be a vet nurse. Yeah. You can be, be um, an ATT or TB tester. As right. Well. You have to the, um, vet checking. So you'll go out, you like craft this budding, more like technical things, hands on things as well. Um, less clinical work. You have physiotherapy as well. I've just spoken to them actually. Yeah, yeah that's really interesting. So lots of stuff related, and not all of them imply that you have to go to vet school. If you're a vet, do you, you can specialise, can't you, into different sections yes, or things? Yeah, so the course is about five years. To be a vet, we, yeah. Yeah, and we do and we do talk about, about most of domesticated animals. So during those, those five years, we'll talk about cats, dogs, mm. chickens, pigs, cows, horses, wow. and all that lot, domesticated species. And then, yeah, at the end, you can... Normally we'll know what we want and then you have some colleagues will just do small animals, mm. some will do just farm animals, some can do mix, it can be a mixed practice vet, and some of them just do exotics like your iguanas, bearded dragons, rats, all that. Uh, so yeah, and then not only clinical work, you can do food inspection, mm. that's, that's thing that can be done. Some vets will do TB testing as well, but you can also just be an ATT, which is just the person that trains with defra just to do the tuberculin testing so you don't have to be a vet to do that uh, but the vets will do a bit of everything so with that and what else that's pretty much but it, so for if you were so for some, for, to be a vet you've got to be quite highly qualified i take it haven't you yeah. but if you wanted to get into um if you care about animals you want to look after them there's other routes into that isn't yeah. there like um what sort of things are, that, are they like those so again, you have vet nursing, yeah. so you can be a vet nurse. You can do just canine, uh, for example, horse physiotherapy. Yeah. And then even be a vet 
private tech, like I mentioned, you don't have to go to vet school for that. You can just do private tech. It's just a two, three year course as well. Right. Um, and anything animal related, really. Um, Brilliant. Do some, some some farming. I think there's like a agriculture universities that you can do just a, a farming course. Where you yeah. do a bit of everything. Um, and mainly to do like the medicines and the animals and a bit of the anatomy. Just all brush over a bit of everything that you can see on farm. Mm. Um, but that's what I like. Yeah. That's brilliant. Thank you very much for giving me your time on take two. <laughs> we love take two. Harry's tired. I've been chatting loads. We are going to go and head off now. I haven't covered everything because it's just too much, really. But I'm going to go speak to the chairman of the Young Farmers again and just find out how he feels the event went. How, I, I almost don't need to ask you this question <laughs> because I think we know the answer. How well do you think the event went tonight? Horribly. <laughs> Horribly. No, I think it went really well. Um, yeah, I think the start of the week I was sat at home thinking it's just going to be like the exhibitors ran the outside and nobody come. It's been really good to be fair, even I'm surprised. You must be very pleased. I've, yeah. I've, I've been speaking to lots of people. A lot of good feedback. They're, they're really happy. Yeah. The people who are chatting and exhibiting, but also the people who visited and stuff. Yeah. I think it's a brilliant event. You've done really well. No, thank you. And the nice thing to see is that obviously being in Young Farmers, you know quite a lot of the other clubs, you know a lot of people. Yeah. There's a lot of people here that I don't know. Yeah. There's a lot of people that I've never seen before, you know, and that's nice because it sees, it shows different people coming and getting interested in the yeah. industry. So no, all mate, good. well done. Hats Thank off you to you. All the best. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. We're heading out. I wonder if we could take one of these tractors, though, Mary. Which, if you were going to pick one, which would you want? It's all dark. Oh, out here. New Holland. Should we take the New Holland? Yeah. That's pretty nice. Look like everyone else wants to take the New Holland as well, isn't it? Mm -hmm. No, I'm just walking out of here now, and. I really mean it when I say congratulations to the young farmers for sorting this out. They've, they've pulled off a really good event. Inspirational to see that a group of young people can pull off something that actually a lot of careers events that are run by other big organisations don't pull off. A niche young uh, farming careers event. And it, these, these uh, things are very important actually because if we want people to come into our industry, we need to do more stuff like this, not less. So um, fair play to them all. Right, I'm heading off. Harry's got a bait. Well, I didn't get any uh, goodies, but Harry seems to have picked up quite a few bits and pieces. Ugh. Let's go, crack on. What did you think, Harry, all in all of the event? Very good. Did you enjoy it? Yep. It's a bit different, wasn't it? Mm hmm. Never been to something like that. No, before. no, it's very good, wasn't it? Right, let's go. Let's go, go, go.